Huh? Yeah, I would talk to you. Hawkins and Ryder, everybody! Yeah, that's why we're gonna do a Q&A, and you should be able to answer stuff without stepping on jokes, it'll be great. First question, how many wrestlers have you slept with? Oh. That's the first question, I swear to God! I don't know, it does not say men or women specific. Just, just Pat Patterson. Oh, so <laughs> you just witnessed it. Do you have a, uh, I'm a calculator? I'm gonna pass, uh, I'm not gonna answer that question. Hawk is gonna pass that question. Nick. Why do they call Seth the King Slayer after what you did to Law? So I should be the King Slayer, I think. Or just just pay me for the set t-shirts. That's fine. That's worse than what I was gonna say. I don't know. I don't, think so. I don't know what he said. What is the question you do not want us to ask you, and what is the answer to that question? <laughs>
A uh, really cool thing about Toronto is I went to the Yankees game today. I went to the Blue Jays game. I should end it there, but outside of Toronto, there was someone running a rickshaw, and he was a wrestling fan and a stand-up comic, and he goes, hey, Dolph Ziggler, I'm doing some stand-up tonight. You know, when's your show? I said, it's at 10.30 or so, and he goes, that's cool, maybe I'll come check it out. And I go, dude, do you want to do a couple minutes of the show? Yeah, and he did it tonight, and he kicked past. So I thought that was pretty cool. That really happened, that was funny. What made you be, want to become a wrestler? Oh, you guys are wrestling fans. <laughs> Do you like Dude, trust me. Give me three minutes of circling, and then I'm gonna win. And if that doesn't work out, I'm gonna stand right in front of the turnbuckle and just move out of the way in the last second. Here's a, here's a good question to follow that up. What will be longer tomorrow, your entrance or your match? This is, I'm so glad we did the roast of Dolph Ziggler this evening. It's been great. I don't know. I can't you, you must have some cool engine gear for tomorrow, right? Yeah, I got some pretty awesome gear. A cool jacket or something? Yes. A nice high pony. I, I have... High pony? No, high ponies for contract negotiations and signings. I got some pink pants that are ripped Brie Bella style with the American flag underneath. No offense. Fuck, Mary kill, Nicole Bass, Pat Patterson, Jimmy Garvin. Broski? Broski? Sex addict, you can answer that one. You really told me that. You, you told me that song, so I'm gonna stop. Pass? I, I think, which one of those said book Pat Patterson for the comedy show? Don't pick that. No, I'm just <laughs> Wait a minute, wait a minute. Pat, what do you got? French. Sure, right? Some are gay and some are not. Sure. Whatever it's right. Sure. Anybody can. Hello. Is that name. your teeth? I lost my mind. No, how many people are gay here? Oh. Are you? That was a Werther's original. We got a, we got a hand up to the crowd. How many, how many gay people would stand up here? There we go. I'm leaving. I don't want to cry. I don't, I don't want you to cry. Okay, if you knock on my door tonight, I'll let you in. Don't worry. Who is your... How do you feel about adult wrestling figure collectors? Should I take this one? Well, I think there's nothing wrong with an adult collecting and displaying and not leaving and their toys. It's a hobby, it's just like anything else. And I think we do our podcast, we go to people's minds, and you don't have to like me. Who listens to these guys' podcasts? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. We're not the only one who's this year. It's okay. No, I don't. That too, I mean, back to doll like a hundred times next to you. It's a different generation, bro. Who is your all time favorite rival?
keep his style on Stone Cold's um, podcast. Um, <laughs> I feel like Sunday, one way or another, I find a way to win. You go both ways, that's why. So, 
We're going to take the microphone cord and make a giant circle around the sandwich. And we were going to do like, like we were, do like a Three Stooges thing. Like we'd stand outside the ring and hold the microphone, and when one of them like grabbed the sandwich, we'd all go to pull, but we couldn't do it, we'd all fall down. We fought. So the sandwich is in the middle of the ring. We're waiting outside looking. Big Show looks at us, sees us all looking the other way. He's like, what? And then he notices the sandwich on the ground. He doesn't see the trap. <laughs> and he reaches down and he grabs the sandwich and goes to leave and can't understand why he's caught like a bear in some giant trap. It's almost like it's almost like King Kong on the side of a building, like swatting planes, and he's holding this sandwich. He can't understand why he's actually caught. And by this point, we don't even get a chance to pull the microphone away, but we just see him and he looks and sees us and he yanks the microphone out of the cord out of the microphone. I go, oh shit. And he goes, so now I have to go wrestle Big Show. So no one wants to get in the ring. And I, I'm leaning across Big Show, super pissed off. And I go, Show, anything you want to do, we'll do it. And he grabs me and twists my shirt, which is like my cheerleading outfit thing. Twists it, throws me in the corner, big giant. Big show hand, smacks me in the chest. Ah, it hurts, it's loud, it's the worst. I drop to my knees, I feel like my heart beating through my chest. I go, oh, okay. He got us back, we're all even now. I go to tag out, he drags me to the middle, rips my shirt off, like, and with his hand, rips it in half, throws it down, chops me again. This time I don't remember dropping to my knees, but I do, and blood's coming out of my chest. Stands on top of me, throws me in the corner, forces someone else to tag in, does the same thing, beats us up the entire time. At the end of the match, we end every single match this way. Kane and Big Show are standing in the middle with their two hands out, and four of us walk into them, and there's a four-way choke slam. I'm still holding my chest. We get to the end of the match, Kane and Big Show in the ring. All four of us go to Kane. <laughs> okay, goes. Sorry, kid. Shoves me over to Big Show. Show grabs me by the throat, picks me up in the air, and I wake up backstage. <laughs> I wake up. The rest of the squad tells me what happened, and I go, guys, we were trying to play a prank, I make a joke. We need to squash this right now. We're brand new. Let's go say we're sorry, we messed up. So we go to his private locker room, knock on the door, walk into a show. I just want to say that we're so sorry. He turns away like this. Shit, what are we supposed to do? Everyone else leaves. We go, guys, if we don't squash this right now, I don't know. Who knows what we'll do tomorrow if we're going to get kicked out. I don't know how it works. Walk back in and go, Big Show, please, let me apologize on behalf of everyone that turns away. Yeah. Shit. I say, screw it. I spin him around. I say, Big Show, I'm so sorry. And he's eating the rest of the sandwich. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Good night. Great.